Alright, so we just picked this up off of eBay. 39 bucks. It is a uh, variable speed upgrade for the Razor MX350 dirt bike. Uh, the stock throttle kit is pretty much on and off switch, uh, unlike the original model that they first came out with. So I'm just going to cover basically what I picked up and how to install it and uh, any increases that. Alright, so when you order this thing, you're going to get a controller which has all the, uh, the wiring and the seller has put some writing on some of these make it a little bit easier. We'll go through all these. It just looks like an optional brake light and a tail light if you want to wire those up. I won't be doing that. I'm just pretty much going to be swapping out the stock controller for this upgraded controller. I'm going to get the throttle. It's got some battery uh, indications on there, a key. Um, it doesn't look like it doesn't lock out the actual throttle, it's just an electronic lockout. And other handle matching for the other side and some zip ties. And an instruction sheet, depending on the model. Alright, so this will be mounting on a version 36. You can tell by the uh, the second digit there, second grouping. Um, this particular controller is supposed to work with all models after uh, 33. And then uh, some kind of wiring change apparently can easily be done uh, if it's a it's a previous model. That's right, so first thing you need to do. You're going to need to take off the uh, the cover and the seat. That's pretty basic. Uh, I'm assuming you already know how to do that. And we're going to get access to this controller, and uh, we'll get the uh, throttle. All right. So we got the battery hot off the charger. Looks like right now it's putting out uh, fully charged, about 26 volts. We'll see what the stock controller limits that to uh, sending out to the motor. Alright, so the seller claims that the stock controller will only give 21 volts instead of the uh, 24 plus, depending on the charge status of your 24 volt battery. Um, so we'll check that out real fast before we get the controller off of there. Looking somewhere in the 20 to 22 volt range. All right, so next step, we're going to get this stock controller off of there. Get that all unwired. All right, so we got the two controllers. This one being the stock. This one being the new one. You see, the mounting holes are going to be a little bit different as far as mounting it. They did give you zip ties to zip tie it on, but uh, we'll probably come up with something uh, a little bit better than that. Uh, as far as the comparison goes, uh, both have the uh, battery, the throw, or sorry, to the motor. Um, the new controller does have the optional tail light and brake light. Um, does wire directly to the throttle. It's a little bit different. The stock controller just has four pins. The new one has uh, looks like six. Uh, with one not being usable to five there. And the stock controller has the on and off power switch here, which this does not, so I'm, I'm guessing the on and off is probably handled through the uh, throttle itself, or probably the key. So we'll look into that a little bit further. Um, and then you got the brake adjustment, which shuts the power off to the motor if you apply the brake. So it looks like everything should wire up. Alright, so here was my solution to mounting the stock controller on the bike instead of zip tying it. You see the mounting holes, obviously a lot different. In terms of the size of the controller, they're almost identical, it's just the uh, where the mounting holes are that are different. So on the frame, we have got this uh, bar that's welded on there. Um, obviously, there's a million different ways you could mount this, but this one over at Home Depot picked up one of these Simpson straps. They're like a buck and a half, and uh, basically cut it out. So it will mount uh, right in place. Alright, so the way this is going to mount, I've got two options. I can mount it like this.
and have the controller on an angle like that, which I think will actually work better with the plastic uh, covers for the batteries. I think the wiring will go, uh, the wiring coming off the controller would go better like this. Or I can flip this over and mount it similar that the old controller was mounted, but the wires come off the side and they'll be tucked pretty tight over there. So I might end up mounting it on an angle like that. We'll see how it goes. All right, now that I've got the controller mounted and I know that the uh, seat will fit and the controller will fit uh, with the battery covers, everything's good in that department. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the twist throttle off. So I just got to get this off. All right, so that's uh, that's the way I decided to go with it. So to mount it on the angle like that. I'll show you what it looks like all wrapped up. Uh, we'll go ahead and get these wires hooked up. All right, so we got everything kind of temporary and plugged in um, for just make sure everything works. It looks like up top, you got everything working there. Full charge. So that'll be your new on and off. The on and off switch on the side uh, will no longer be wired in place. So you will have your charging port, but uh, the on and off now will be the key. Uh, as far as volts go through the system, let's have us a look. Um, that's full throttle. So you're getting uh, four or five more volts. Obviously, on you know, a full charge, the battery drains down. That will drop down to its nominal voltage, but uh, yeah, so it looks like you're going to get a little bit more performance. So. Alright, so we'll give it a variable speed here, see how that, well that works. So you got the full range there. Alright, so that's how it looks with the uh, new controller all mounted up didn't have to cut the battery housing at all everything mounted up perfectly the seat fits on there uh, perfectly and there's that all ready to go all in all should take you about an hour to put together um, a little bit longer if you decide to do a bracket um, overall not too bad. We'll see uh, the long-term quality of this unit, but uh, 